Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my March favorites. Um, if I sound a little down, it's because uh, I feel like I'm getting sick and my throat hurts so bad. It hurts really bad to actually talk. But I didn't have any other videos for Friday, so I'm kind of making myself film. It really hurts, so I'm going to try and get through this stuff as fast as I can. And again, these are all the products that I was loving in the month of March. And most of them are, I don't know, they're not anything too fancy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to know what they are, then just keep on watching. So the first product that I wanted to mention is actually something that I've been wanting to talk about for the longest time. Um, these are the Tatcha um, beauty paper, so they're like oil absorbents. It contains 30 sheets, and I actually got mine in one of my BoxyCharms a while ago. And I really like them because they absorb everything. Like, I probably have some excess oil. It's not as bad because I just finished doing my makeup not too long ago. But usually, I'll just throw these in my purse, which is the reason why I hadn't mentioned them before because I had them in my purse. But if you can see that it literally blots away all the excess oil and i really like it sometimes i get so greasy like now that it's back to summertime my skin is back to normal which is back to being oily and these just really help they really really help they really take away all my oiliness moving on to skin um or talking about skin um you guys saw that in one of my recent videos i did a um, trying out new makeup and I tried this intensive anti-aging face serum and foundation primer oil um, so what you do is you just dispense a full pump of this serum onto your palms you rub it in and then you apply it to your skin now I do have to say that because this is an oil based serum it does tend to make me a little bit more oily I actually use it at night um, because right now my skin is peeling a little bit. I've been using um, microdermabrasion on my skin and just some products to help with my milia. And this really just helps nourish my skin. So a few months back actually, I picked up the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Now I've been wanting and searching for the perf perfect moisturizer for my oily skin. And it's so hard because my skin is so ridiculously sensitive that anything that I try will break me out. It really moisturizes my skin. It doesn't leave it feeling too heavy. It absorbs into the skin really nicely. And if you are oily, I think you're really going to like it. It's only $8, I believe, 6 or $8. So it's really good. And the packaging is pretty cute. I want to talk about some brushes that I've been loving so, so much. Um, most of these brushes are by Beauty Junkies, which you guys know that I raved about them. They are sold exclusively on Amazon. The first one that I want to mention is the Pro Highlighter, which is this one right here. I have been using this every single day. It is perfect because it is fluffy, but it comes to a little point, and it's really nice and thin. So I'll just grab my highlighter, and I'll just apply it like this, and it blends it out for me so nicely. Um, and then I've also been really liking their Dual Fiber Brush, which is this one right here. As you can see, it has come to a point. It's kind of like slanted, and then it comes to a point. I really like how this blends out everything. I've even used it for bronzer, and it just blends everything as you apply it. Um, and then the last one that I've really been liking is their Sculptor Brush. Now, this one is more for bronzing or applying foundation. The last brush that I wanted to mention is by Luxie Beauty. This is the Small Contouring 512. I actually received this one in my BoxyCharm. If you guys received it, let me know if you like it because I really, really like it. I use um, just any contouring products and I'll go right in here. And chisel out my cheekbones and it's perfect because it's small and it's rounded and it allows me just to really go in there and chisel out and just define my cheekbones. I also really like it for contouring my jawline. You guys know how I feel about contouring my jawline. I can't live without it. I feel like there's such a huge difference when I contour 
um, my jawline just because I do have a little bit of a double chin and it just really helps define it so I really like it. Talking about contouring or bronzing, um, I've been really loving the e.l.f. bronzer palettes and again I did pick mine up at my local Walmart and this is what it looks like. The first time that I tried it out I was blown away by the, by the pigmentation. I think it's a really good palette and especially if you are on a budget you get four different colors. The pigmentation is really nice um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they blend really nicely onto the skin. And even for me, that I'm a little bit more tanned, um, they look really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but I really like it. And again, it's super cheap, so I've been enjoying that. Now for cream contour, um, the Laura Mercier Contour Palettes. And again, this is just her cream contour. When I got this in the mail, I actually thought it was going to be a powder. And then when I saw that it was cream, honestly, I was a little bummed out because I'm not a big fan of cream contour. I do have the Anastasia one, and I really don't use it that much. But I really like this one. The reason why, it's because it's very creamy, and it blends out so nicely, like so effortlessly. I especially like this one, contour number one and contour number two. I've been really using these two colors to um, define my nose. I've been really into nose contouring lately. So I've been mixing these two and I just get like that perfect color. Whenever I want to be a little bit extra, I do chisel up my cheekbones and my jawline, but it's mainly just for my nose contour and I really like it. I really, really recommend this um, cream contour over any cream contour that I've tried. Now I only have two lipsticks that I've really been liking this month. Um, these are the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Lipsticks. These are the ones that ColourPop and... What's her name? I can't remember her name. K... something Rouge. Karuj, Karuchi, I think that's her name, Karuchi. She partnered up with ColourPop and they came out with a whole bunch of stuff and I actually did collect all her liquid lipsticks because I really like them. My favorite one is called Rouge and it is the most gorgeous deep burgundy red color. Now the only thing that I have to complain about this is that I feel like it does um, feather, like it feathers out on me whenever I wear it. I don't know if it's the fact that it's just a darker color, but I always notice that it bleeds. Um, it just bleeds, you know, on the outside of my lips, but it's such a pretty color. And then the other color that I really like from her is called K. I think it's her name spelled out like Kiruchi or however you say it. This one is a really pretty, like a terracotta brown. It's this one right here. And I didn't see that this one, this one actually didn't bleed on me. So I don't know what's up with that, but I still wear Rouge because it's such a pretty color. I wanted to show you guys something that I recently discovered and I kind of, I'm kind of upset that I bought this twice. So um, last month I got some gift cards for Macy's and I decided to pick up the MAC Studio Fix and I picked up NC40. Now it is a little bit too dark for me right now. I should have gotten NC40, but it looked too dark on the pan. So I'm just gonna have to use this until I get a little bit more tan. But before I got my MAC Studio Fix, I actually ordered a setting powder from BH Cosmetics and it's their BH Studio Pro. And this is in the shade 235, which is an exact dupe for Max um, Studio Fix and NC42. So this one is the MAC one and this is the BH Studio. This one was like $6 and then this one was like 20, 20 something, I don't remember. Now for actually setting underneath my eyes, you guys know that I love my NYC um, translucent powder. I love that stuff. But ever since I picked up the RCMA No Color Powder, I've been obsessed. I now know and understand why Kathleen raves about this stuff so much. It really sets your un like it really sets this place so nicely. It looks very smooth. It looks almost like HD. I really recommend it and I think it's totally worth buying. For highlight, you guys know I've been loving so much the Sephora um, Radiant Luminizing Drops and these are in the color Ultra Light. These are bomb. I really like these guys. These actually give you a really nice inner glow. I have yet to mix them with my foundation. I should probably do that. 
but I haven't mixed them yet. So I will have to try that and let you guys know. And last but not least, you guys... Uh, I had to mention this. You guys know that the hype was real with this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I really like how it came out. I think this palette is amazing and I really like it. I'm so happy that I, I stayed up until 3 in the morning to get this palette because it is life. So anyways, that is everything. My throat is killing me. So those are all the products that I was loving in the month of March. As always, share with me what products you were loving because I'm always lurking and trying to find out what products you guys liked so I can try them out. So holla at your girl and let me know what products you liked. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys and until next time, I will see you guys next week. Bye.